you welcome to this channel in this channel I would like to share with you things that I've done with my Nissan Leaf that is helping me to keep it on the road yes Nissan Leaf the first generation Nissan Leaf I have a 24 kilowatt battery underneath the car and another set in the trunk if you want to do this you will need to drop the two battery the one you are adding from that car and the one on this car you have to drop it and get the cable that you want to use for your connection the positive and the negative right from the battery not before the pre-charge relay and all that no just on the battery pick your bat pick your cable get your cable route it to the back here and on the battery in the trunk also the total cable the positive and the negative also the fuse I put it in between this block and this block so that's how I did it I put the, put the cable okay now I have uh, the little fuse of 250 resettable fuse that I have here is helping me to protect the car to protect the battery whenever there is any problem that is what's going to trip first that's the only thing that I have for protection there I do not have a BMS at the back here I do not know how to do it I don't want to put the BMS there but I'm not sure of how to do it that's why I did not do the connection I have it taped off like this but since I've been using it since the beginning of this year till now September from January to September yes I've been using it like that it's helping me to get to work every time I want to drive it it's been a very good car to me sincerely I drive it every day the difference between this car and Tesla is just battery and all the electronics at the front the multimedia that I have there I think I'm okay with it it's, it's, it's okay if it is just for me to drive an EV to drive from point A to point B yes this is okay another thing that I've done is change my battery to a bigger battery because my 12 volt battery was being used by the BMS to balance my traction battery that was going out so the battery cannot actually do well in that stage anymore so I had to increase to a bigger battery when I increase to the bigger battery it's getting better another thing I do that I've done is to keep my EVAC right in the car every time because I charge in the public places anywhere I have the chance to charge that's where I, I plug it in and charge my EVAC is stuck right here I use this one which can handle 220 and 110 volts and uh, I kept it right there the output the imp this is the input the input goes to my extension cable that I have tried, also kept in the front here this extension cable I kept it in the front here too I kept everything like this and actually removed the pin and everything so I can actually keep it this way so my EVSC going outside through this out the, the this is EVSC going this way right to the front yes plug it there then the other power cable comes out here and goes to the outlet charging I'm using 110 right now to charge and that's how I use it do I get 240 kilowatt from this battery I'm not sure the performance is better yes it drive faster yes it responds well yes I cover more range yes I even drive with a free the real free world range for me now I've actually improved from 30 to like 60 but if I'm going to do hyper mileage driving hyper mile driving I will I don't know what they call it I'm not sure what I'm saying the right thing but if I'm going to drive within the range of 45 50 can you believe that I can drive 120 miles 128 miles you can do that but if I'm going to drive 60 70 70 80 <laughs> yes 60 miles I'll get 60 miles out of the two battery which is okay for me I don't cover up to 60 miles every day no I don't so let me just um, make this um, leaf spice stuff work better now by unplugging it whenever it, it does that I have to unplug it at the back here I have to unplug it here okay 
and then plug it back. Please do not mind my amateur video recording and all that. So here is it getting back. So far so good. It's charging and what I'm getting out of it is 16 kilowatt. That's what is in the battery right now. The two of them. And my state of charge is 79.2. Uh, if you want to buy a Nissan Leaf, Leaf Spy is a must. Sincerely, it's a must. Let whosoever is selling the car to you plug the car, let it be fully charged. When the car is fully charged, put in your Bluetooth device and turn on your Leaf Spy. And when you turn on your Leaf Spy, look at this. Look at the, what is remaining in the battery. What I'm getting from these two batteries put together, for now, the maximum, when this car is fully charged and it's cut off, it's going to be 21 kilowatts. That's what I'm getting from those two batteries. Yes, 20, you, yes, it's supposed to be 40 something, yeah, or 20, or even 24. No, I'm not getting that. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting 16, 20 kilowatts when it's fully charged. Right now, it's not fully charged. It's almost 70, it's 79.2 state of charge. But when it's 100% state of charge, it's going to be 21 kilowatt, 21 or 20 kilowatts. And that's what I'm getting from it. So please, if you are buying any car, Nissan Leaf, please. Leaf Spy is a must. Plug it in. When the car is fully charged, check, uh, check what is in there. Then you will know what is remaining in the battery that you are bugging, you are buying, you are buying. Uh, this thing is disconnected again. Let me connect it back. And by the way, the best place to even hang this phone is just by that corner. I so much enjoy it. It's not obstructing any view right there. And it's doing perfectly for me. Uh, right now, at this rate, it's telling me I have I have uh, 93 miles. Yes, 93 miles. But by the time it's fully charged, it's gonna be like probably maybe 100. Sometimes more 100, sometimes. But this is what I get from it. It's 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 to me is a good car. I'm just sharing this for as many people that have the first generation and they are thinking of what to do with it. Hey, if you can add another battery, change your battery, add another battery to the to it in the trunk and know how you can manage it. It works well for me. Since the time the bar dropped to this, and I'm thinking of what to do, whether to change the battery or to hard it, I decided to hard it, and this is what I'm getting out of it. The response is better. It it responds faster. It moves faster. It it responds very very faster, and I I think it takes me from point A to point B. I would love to show you more if I can get Tesla battery and add it to this car. Man, yeah. Just put it in the truck in parallel with the one that I have in the, in, in the car. If it can be done, please share your share 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 it with me. Give me input on how I can get it done. I will so much appreciate appreciate that. And also, uh, this is my first video and it's more of amateur stuff. Guys, please help me. I don't even know. I don't have any tools for editing or sharing. I just just want to share my thoughts with everybody. If you know how you can help me please contact me and i will so much be happy thank you for watching bye for now